incredible. It's so action-packed. Mind-blowing, magnificent. Really, this could just go on forever. The first time the project came to me was at a dinner. And I knew that Rawson was excited to pitch me this idea. At the end of the pitch, when he reveals a little twist, I calmly stood up, I threw my baseball hat against the wall, and I said, you son of a bitch. I am in, 100%. There was so many twists and turns that I just absolutely loved. So smart, so funny, and I got really lucky to work with these two. I mean, I've always loved the idea of a treasure hunt, the grander kind of adventure of it, but it's also a real battle of wits. And the whole idea of Red Notice is that it's a throwback to big, fun, swashbuckling movie star movies. Big action, big laughs. It was always in the DNA from the very beginning, a globetrotting heist film with the three biggest stars in the world. Red Notice is equivalent to the FBI's most wanted. If there's a Red Notice put on you, it's put on by Interpol. A classification given to a fugitive who's so wanted. They have to send out a call to all bordering countries and law enforcement that it's open season on this guy, whatever it's gonna take to get him and bring him to justice. And they are coming for you with everything they've got. What's great about a heist is fundamentally, it's a magic trick. You're trying to make your audience look over here while you do this. That egg is gonna be stolen today. The fact it may already be gone. The planning, the setbacks, success or failure. Oh, that works. The more that you can lean into the magic of a heist, the more thrilling it is. So the watch. You don't want to put the camera anywhere that the audience couldn't have seen the first time or that didn't happen the first time. We wanted to make sure that when they watched the second time, they saw that we played the whole thing cards up. You're right. I'm the bad guy. Now shut up and give me the bag before I shoot you in the mouth. Yeah, is that what you did? Did you yeah, do that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so good. So a lot of the, th <laughs> the ship between Ryan and I. Is he always like this? He breastfed until he was 40. I love playing, I love ad-libbing, but that's his bread and butter. My God. That was great. <laughs> DJ has this positivity energy around him. Yeah. Gal, she really brings something to the table that I don't think I've ever seen before. This mischief twinkle in her eye. The chemistry between them is fantastic. And that was the most important thing. And we both were like, God, these guys look awesome yeah. together. They're truly some of the most talented people in the world, and they're up for the challenge. There was a lot of mechanics to it. A lot of shit has to come together. Shooting a globetrotting action adventure in Atlanta was not easy and not the plan. Literally, weeks from leaving Atlanta to go to Europe to shoot the second half of the film, the global pandemic struck and we had to shut down. We had to figure out how we were gonna do this from the safe confines of the Atlanta Metro Studio. All of our sets are extraordinary with the magic of filmmaking and the magic of the art department. We still transport you all over the world, but all being here in the safety of our soundstage in Atlanta Metro Studios. We are taking the entire on-the-road production, putting it on a stage in a safe way that protects our crew. The amount of work and effort put into every detail to achieve such a big feel was really a, a great testament. The chase was fairly unprecedented. Rawson found this incredible drone operator, and the drone was inside our set, fully following them throughout the entire action when they're running, jumping, fighting. Had to build the Castle San Angelo in the parking lot, the Russian prison in the parking lot. We couldn't go to South America, so we built the jungle inside. We built a lagoon inside. And we end up going underground into a huge vault. I've always loved Indiana Jones, and that part I thought was pretty magnificent to shoot. Bye, bye, bye. And it was a real testament to Andy Nicholson, our production designer, and his entire team, our construction team, my cinematographer, Marcus Forder, to make it look as though we went where we went. 
One of the biggest assets was the use of LED screens, which gave you the ability to bring these locations directly into camera. You are able to take a plate, put it directly behind the actor, and in the camera, have them live in that environment. We still wanted to create real scope and real scale set pieces and lots of movement and lots of chases. Strangely, one of the most difficult visual effects scenes that we had was the dance with Dwayne and Gal. Careful now. We don't want to cause a scene. I don't care. I'm not letting you out of my sight. We had to shoot it in such a way where Gal and Dwayne were in that ballroom by themselves with our fabulous Steadicam operator, Jeff Haley. Oh, good. You're dancing with her. We shot them all by themselves, and then they left, and then we brought in all of the background, and we shot it again and then the wizards at ILM put it all together. Our dance scene was designed and choreographed to be very sexy and heated between the two characters, and that was the goal that we had going in. I think we created something that is very appealing. She's a great dancer. Life of actors. I know. <laughs> it's like over and over. <laughs> DJ is a big man. And I was actually wo not worried, but I was like, oh, I just hope he's not going to step on my toe. <laughs> that won't be nice. <laughs> he's a fabulous dancer. And he learned the choreography in no time. And he remembered it better than I did even. I used to be a dancer. It was a pleasure shooting this scene with him. That one's Ooh, so nice. <laughs> Great. <laughs> We're not friends. We're best friends. I've learned almost 20 years of doing this that it's really good to trust your actors. There's something pretty special about a globe-trotting caper that really delivers on that promise. And these three people collide in a way that I love. I didn't see the handcuffs coming. Around every corner of what you think you're gonna get, it's a little bit different. We had the privilege to be a fly on the wall. Movie magic at its best. Yeah. And I think you really feel it on screen, because there's a lot of magic there that wasn't written. We're not friends. We're work wives. We're not work We're wives. Sis sister wives. Shut up. It's funny and it's witty with a lot of heart. You want to know what's going to happen. There is that kind of marquee movie, sort of a Christmas morning kind of feeling that you can't really fake. There's some malevolence, some badassery, there's some mystery. And then the chemistry just explodes on screen. This is hard!